Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Lavinia, and I post beauty videos regarding makeup and skincare three times a week, every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So if that is something you're interested in, I would love for you to join my channel by hitting the big red subscribe button. So today's video is going to be a skincare update. Um, I feel like I have tested out so much product in the last few months here, and I feel like I haven't really gotten a chance to sit down and talk about some of the products that I have continuously been using that I've been loving and products that I have definitely incorporated into my skincare routine and with all the things I test out you know I do change up my skincare routine a lot but then there are still products that I keep in the regular rotation because I love them so much and you guys usually ask me on older product review videos if I'm still using those products if I still like them and I'm like Hold up, I need to do an update. So I think this is like a six month update since my last skincare routine video. Now I still love like all those products in that video. I still use a bunch of them, but of course with trying out new products, there are a few here that I am currently using right now and that I have in my rotation. So um, I'm very excited for this video. Now today's video is also partially sponsored by Winzy. So thank you so much to Winzy for sponsoring this video and helping me bring this content to you guys. We're gonna be talking about their silk pillowcases and and how I've incorporated them into my skincare routine for the past six months. So that's also going to be a six month update on me switching out my cotton pillowcase to a silk one. But we're going to get into that later on in the video. So if you want to see my updated skincare routine, let's get right on into it. Oh, you tell me stories. You tuck me in. And the second you leave, I call you right back to check for monsters. So obviously there's a lot that I use because um, I am a skincare addict. I interchange products a lot, but I picked out some of the stuff that I've absolutely been loving and like would definitely recommend to you guys. Now, if you're new to my channel, I have dry, sensitive, acne prone skin and my acne is mostly hormonal. And I honestly was going to film this video a few days ago. My skin was doing so good and then I didn't get to it. And when I was going to film it today, I'm like, oh, my skin's like breaking out. You know, I'm having some flare ups. And I'm like, you know what? That's totally fine and I should be able to showcase that and still love skincare and show you guys some amazing products even though I have hormonal acne. I feel like that's a huge misconception in the skincare world. A good skincare routine does not mean clear skin. Uh, acne comes from so many other things than just your skincare routine. I personally would like to think that skincare makes up about 20% of what your skin looks like. The rest is like sleep, diet, stress levels, hormones. Um, genetics is a huge one so don't think that if you have acne it's your fault um because it's not but you can still have some fun with some skincare and enjoy some amazing products so let's start off i'm doing a morning routine right now but any of the products that i would use in my night routine i'm still going to talk about throughout this video so first off i'm going to start off with a mask that i have been loving for the daytime especially this is from the brand hemish and i have been using this quite a bit i've only had it for a couple weeks and i already have used it so so much if you are really into like makeup prep and love a good mask that can make your makeup go on really smoothly this is one i highly recommend so i'm just gonna take some and smooth it onto the skin it smells like the best spa experience you'll ever have in your life um it's so hydrating and it has a cooling sensation to it which i personally really enjoy because it like calms down redness and inflammation from like let's say when i woke up and it's just really really great you don't need a lot you can just apply a bit of it and it's so amazing i'm gonna leave this on for about 10 minutes so this has been one of my favorite masks you can get this off salvana you can use the code inf10lr for 10 percent off so really love this and i've been using it actually a ton like in the morning just to give me a nice relaxing and refreshing experience to my skin. While I have that on, I'm gonna talk about another mask that I have been loving and using a lot these past few months, and that is from Banish. This is the Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. Now, I use a lot of masks. Um, I love my like night treatments and just really doing like that full skin routine, um, but this one is one that I keep going back to and I find that my skin really enjoys. This is what this looks like right here, and perfect timing for this video because it's fall right now, and. This mask smells exactly like pumpkin pie. 
could literally eat it and it looks like pumpkin pie too so this is basically a, a aha and bha blend in a mask and if you like those type of exfoliators this could be a great chemical exfoliator for you you apply this once a week for 10 minutes it really does a great job at renewing the skin giving you that nice exfoliation but not over stripping my skin and actually having some acne benefits too. We have vitamin E, vitamin C even, which is a great antioxidant and like brightener. Also helps with acne scarring too. We have glycerin in here. We have glycolic acid, which is that AHA. So this one has been definitely one that I've been using a lot. I really like it like at the end of the week just to kind of exfoliate all that dead skin off, but not over strip my skin or over exfoliate it. So definitely a favorite. While this mask is on, I'm going to apply some eye sheet masks as well. Um, this isn't something like I use all the time, but I think they're nice to use and they can be like a nice relaxing experience. These ones right here are from Yes2. I like interchange the ones I use. These ones are nice though because they're a cucumber one. So they're really nice and cooling on the skin. And they honestly feel the same as when you put like a cold cucumber slice on the eyes. Like very, very cooling and relaxing. So that's something I really enjoy about these. And you know, they're not anything special. I'm not the biggest like eye cream person, but I think something like this can be a nice treatment and just can make you feel nice in the morning. I'm also really into skincare tools, not because I think that they're revolutionary and they'll change your skin that that much, but I do like the experience of them. And I think that skincare is also self-care. And on my channel, I'll always differentiate the difference between a need and a want. This is something that I just want to use and I think is a nice experience. This is from Sand and Sky. I basically just use this like with this and I place this little metal ball roller thing in my skincare fridge overnight. It has a nice weight to it and it's really, really nice on the skin. So I just go ahead and kind of go over the eyes. I don't do this every day. Who's got time for that? I'm a dual major student i wake up at like 5 a.m for school so definitely not doing this every day but you know once in a while like on a weekend or when i have a bit more time in the morning um it's definitely nice to give myself a nice little treatment sometimes i'll even go over this mask when it's kind of been on for a while and this roller is just really nice at kind of draining um lymphatic fluid from the face making you look less puffy in the morning it's not going to be revolutionary and life-changing but it is a nice experience so i personally enjoy it all right so now that i've kind of done my bougie treatment let's head on to my bathroom and i'm going to show you guys the cleansing routine i've really been enjoying so if you guys have been following me for a while you know a double cleansing routine is my go-to and i have been using some new cleansing products that i've really been enjoying so let me share um, the first one is from Numbazin and this is their cleansing oil. This is probably one of the best makeup removers slash cleansing oils I have ever used. I personally really, really enjoy this one. It's very hydrating to my super dry skin, but it melts makeup off so easily. I can even use it around my eyes and it just melts all that makeup away without irritating my eyes at all, which I love because some makeup removers, cleansing oils, you name it, just can be kind of irritating to the eyes. They can leave like a weird film and you feel like you can't see for a few minutes. This one does not do that. As you can see, I've used this a lot and obviously with all the skincare i have and use on a daily basis this much for one product is a lot for me so um i really enjoy this it just melts makeup off really well i even use it sometimes in the morning let's say if i felt like i sweat a lot that night and need to get that excess oil off my skin this just combats that so well because oil helps to remove the oil so it kind of dissolves it and it's really really great and another one i've been using recently is from juno skin this is the clean 10 cleansing balm really great as well this smells like a lemon meringue pie so good and again melts off makeup really easily definitely one of my favorites um, when it comes to like heavier makeup or if i have a liquid lipstick or something that's really secure on my skin this is what i'll use with this mask i have right now i'm going to just kind of rinse it off and i like to massage it in um just to get those added benefits while i'm taking it off too all right so i've rinsed most of that mask off and i'm just going to grab some of the cleansing oil don't really need to use this right now but i kind of want to show you guys so there it is i just apply it right on my face a little damp still so it's going to kind of emulsify a little bit and especially like in this t-zone area i find it has really helped me with my clogged pores at kind of just um loosening up any buildup within them yeah i really like that damn 
these hormonal breakouts popping today, but as I talked about already, that's totally okay. All right, so you guys already probably know this, but I love a double cleanse routine. I think going in with that water-based cleanser after your oil base is so, so important. And last update video, I talked about these from CeraVe, the foaming and the hydrating cream to foam. Still great cleansers that I love. But I have been testing out some new stuff and I want to share it with you guys. Also from CeraVe, the SA cleanser. If you have acne, this is a great one, but it's not too stripping to the skin, which I personally really enjoy. Really, really great at just helping with breakouts, blackheads, all of that, you name it. Another one I have been really liking is from um, Dermalogica. This is the Clear Start one, Breakout Clearing Foaming Wash. Really great one too, but the one that I cannot keep my hands off is the Inculus Salicylic Acid Cleanser. Very, very similar to the CeraVe one. I just have been kind of using this one a little bit more. I don't, I kind of want to do a comparison video on them. If you guys want to see that, let me know. But I'm just going to take a bit of this and this just cleans my skin so, so well. And I just use this in the morning and at night. And then I just go ahead and rinse it off. So I'm back from um, washing my skin. Let's take a little bit of a break from the actual like physical skincare products and talk about some other things that I've been using to kind of help out with my skin and something that has really influenced my skin routine, let's say. And as I said, sleep is such an important part of your skin and how your skin is gonna look. Because if you think about it, your body does like most of its healing at night when you are sleeping. So if you're not getting a good sleep, your skin is definitely gonna show it first. You're gonna wake up with maybe dehydrated skin, which can make your skin look more um, aged or dehydrated or like lackluster and lacking that glow and hydration. And as someone who has acne, I have found that I do have to, you know, be careful with my pillowcase even, making sure I'm washing it often because uh, that is a place that bacteria can definitely, you know, get on the skin and cause breakouts. Same with your phone, make sure you are actually wiping that down with an alcohol wipe every now and then. So those are all things that can definitely influence your acne, even touching your face too much. So something that has really helped me is switching to a silk pillowcase. Now this one right here is from Winzy, as you can see. And I have had this pillowcase for about six months now. And the only times I have taken it off my pillow is to wash it. Um, I wash it about like once a week just to make sure there's not as much bacteria collection on it. But what I will say about this compared to like a regular pillowcase is that silk doesn't absorb as much oil. So if you think about it while you're sleeping on it, you know, your skin produces lots of sebum. And with a cotton pillow that seeps into the pillow, all that bacteria gets collected and it's sitting onto your skin while you're sleeping on it especially if you're like me and you're a side sleeper I would find that on the side that I would sleep I would get little breakouts and I would definitely see um, breakouts coming from my pillow and when I switch to this not only does the pillow contain a bunch of things that can actually help your skin being silk it's lighter on your skin it's not as rough this can even help with wrinkling um, with a cotton pillow it's a little bit more rough so while you're rubbing your face on it while you're sleeping that can definitely influence uh, premature aging whereas this is very very silky on the face because it's silk and it's very soft I cannot get enough of this. A pillowcase like this can also help your hair with its hydration and also making sure it doesn't break as much. Um, even with your skin's hydration, it can really help. It doesn't absorb as much of your skin's like natural oils. Um, and what I also really like about it is I find I get way better sleep just because it is more cool to the touch. So if you're someone who likes to turn your pillow a lot when you sleep just to get that cool side, um, think of it as a constant cool side since we have this really nice silk, super comfortable. And honestly, I have not switched away from this um, in six months. So I've been really enjoying it. Definitely see an improvement in my skin regarding my pillow. And it's definitely something I highly recommend to anyone who wants um, to make sure that their pillow is not as much of a cause for their acne or their skin concerns. If you're interested in checking this out, I will have it linked below. Definitely, definitely recommend it and definitely something that I would say is worth it for sure. So definitely go check out Winzy. They also have a bunch of hair products as well, like silk um, scrunchies, silk eye masks. For me, the pillow is definitely my favorite, but if there's anything else on there you'd like to check out, they're all really great products. And thank you so much to Winzy for sponsoring this video. I wanted to do that six month update with the pillow since six months ago. I did a full video on the pillow trying it out and I wanted to keep you guys updated as it is still something I use in my routine.
Moving right along, I'm going to use a toner. Some ones that I've been loving. Um, my Polish Choice Exfoliant, amazing. Still love this. Definitely probably still my favorite skincare product maybe ever. Can I say that? I don't know. I have so many favorites, but I love this. It's so nice on the skin. And every time I'm having like a bad skin day i feel like i apply this and it helps so much with breakouts and making sure my skin is smooth and not flaky um it's so nice and now i can definitely tolerate this like every single day if i want to use it um i can use it in the daytime to make sure you wear sunscreen of course but i'm like halfway through this and i love it so so much definitely one of the best products out there for acne um really really great i highly recommend this like a million times i did a full video on this and you guys loved it so if you haven't seen that go check it out but my thoughts are still the exact same on this maybe even more escalated because i just love it that much so if you're looking for a great acne treatment, this is definitely one to go to. I've also been enjoying this one from Numbazin. This is the Dewy Radiance Essence. Um, it's a very great toner if you have more dry skin and want something that is a bit more viscous and can actually hydrate and nourish the skin. As you can see, like it just has more of that viscous form to it. Like such a radiant glow this one is really nice and i do recommend it another product i've been loving is the cerave vitamin c serum now not necessarily like this product in particular but although i have been liking this product vitamin c is something i have been using a bit more lately and it is definitely something i enjoy using i definitely see the benefits of it in my skincare routine i love how it brightens my skin and this one from cerave i've actually really been liking it makes my skin look so smooth and radiant i absolutely love it especially in a daytime routine under a sunscreen to kind of give my sunscreen um like greater power it's really great and this one hydrates my skin makes my um skin look just really really plump so i love it all right, another treatment I have been loving is from the Inculus. This is the Tranexamic Acid Night Treatment. I'm not going to use it right now because um, it is a night treatment. And this one has been really, really great for my acne scars. I've actually really been enjoying this, but you do have to use this without a moisturizer. So you use it as the last step of your night routine and skip moisturizer. Now, because of that, I do only use this like every second night or every third night to make sure I'm not drying out my skin. But really, really great acne scar treatment if you're looking for one. I personally have been enjoying it. I'm still kind of testing it out. But um, when I did my two-week test on it, I did really like it. And I think tranexamic acid is a very interesting ingredient that I would love to try more. And I definitely see the results from it. Okay, moving on to moisturizer. There's been three that I've been loving. First off, the Renewing Essay Lotion from CeraVe. Guys, if you have acne and dry skin, you need this product. I feel like there's not products out there for dry and acne prone skin. So if you have that, this is amazing. It is so, so good on my skin. It like hydrates so well um, and it makes sure that my dry skin is very moisturized. But with that salicylic acid in there, I feel like it still helps with acne. So it's like the perfect product for me. I have used this so much lately and it's definitely one of my like top, top favorite products that I always reach for because my skin absolutely loves it and I love how perfect it is for dry and acne prone skin. I'm not going to apply it right now because I do typically like to use it at, at night um, and I did already apply salicylic acid to my skin so I don't want to overload it but I like to use this daytime or nighttime just depending on how I rotate things in my routine but overall great moisturizer if you love the daily moisturizer but want something with salicylic acid in it or your skin is even more dry this is definitely a great option for you and i honestly can't rave about it enough another one i've been liking um is from rail beauty and this is their miracle clear barrier cream really great as well at keeping the moisture barrier in check and it's definitely really nice for dry skin as well but also for acne too because we do have succinic acid in here um which is an acne fighting ingredient we also have a, a vitamin b5 panthenol in here really really great i just finished doing a review video on the ryle products definitely go check that out if you're interested but um really great moisturizer right here for dry acne prone skin as well and another one i have been obsessed with not for acne prone skin as much but for sensitive skin is from medicube this is the super sika water and cream and especially for a daytime routine especially for makeup prep this is absolutely amazing it's just what it sounds like it is a water-based cream very very light 
weight um but it just goes on the skin so nice and it always calms down my redness my sensitivity all of that and it has a bit of a cooling effect to it very light love how that feels on the skin it definitely keeps me hydrated i even layer this on like other moisturizers too if i want just that extra boost and that super sika in here is really that key ingredient that my skin loves so this is definitely a favorite acne treatments let's talk about them i'm not gonna apply any right now um but i've still been loving the succinic acid from the inky list i talked about this in my last update Great spot treatment for acne. It has a green tint to it um, that just blends out and kind of helps with redness too. So that's really nice. Um, you can apply this up to three times a day. Very affordable and effective spot treatment. I've also really been enjoying the Dermalogica Clear Start. You do have to be careful with this one though because it does have the potential to dry out your skin. We do have 2% salicylic acid in here and it is a great one. I feel like this one really combats acne well and dries out those spots. Um, so definitely one that I've really been enjoying and definitely a powerhouse when it comes to an acne treatment. I do really enjoy the like pimple patches too and I've tried out a ton of different ones but this one from Hero is amazing. The Micro Point, oh my goodness, they are a little little bit pricey in my opinion because you do only get six but if you experience hormonal acne or cysts you need these products i actually used these on this one right here and i know it still looks like super inflamed and stuff but it doesn't hurt at all anymore and as you can see everything has kind of come to the surface i'm just letting it do its own thing but it was a much deeper underground pimple and using these has really helped they are just bigger patches that you press into the skin and they deliver the ingredients straight into the skin like we have salicylic acid at 0.5 percent here we even have hyaluronic acid in here so really really great spot treatments and this is a great way to kind of combat those more underground pimples since sometimes tackling those with skincare can be a little bit um difficult but these can definitely help all right sunscreen i'm going to go in with this one right here which has been a very very um, amazing product that i've been loving this is from mech more this is their watery sunblock lotion now i have had a lot of issues with sunscreen in the past um my skin just often reacts to them in a not so good way and i can have like um allergic reactions or like contact dermatitis from them this one right here is a very interesting formula it has that like very watery consistency that applies onto the skin very nicely there's no white cast and it blends right in great under makeup too because it's not like too heavy and it doesn't like pill like other sunscreens do but the filters in here are not the typical ones you see in America um, that typically cause those reactions for me. So this one is actually formulated for sensitive skin. And I definitely see that. I definitely agree with that because I have had zero reactions from this. So definitely a great one that I highly, highly, highly recommend. And with sunscreen on, we are done the skincare routine. I feel like I blasted through some of these products, but I have been loving a lot of skincare lately. And um, I test so much out that I definitely want to keep you guys in the loop of what I've been actually using recently. So those are just some of the products I've been loving. Obviously, there's a lot more that I use um, and interchange, but I did want to update you guys on some of these that I have done trials on um, recently. And maybe you were curious, like, are you still liking these? Have you kind of moved on to something else? And this is the update. Again, make sure to go check out Winzy along with their silk pillowcases. I will have them linked down below in the description. As well with all of the products mentioned today, they will all be down below if you are interested in checking them out. I do receive a small commission from those products, which really just help me continue bringing content to this channel and providing the resources to make videos. So I would definitely really appreciate it. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also make sure to turn on my post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. And if you want to see more of my content, I am a host on the Acne channel here on YouTube. You can go to check out weekly skincare videos from me on there. And if you want to see more daily content, you can go follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Lavinia Rosanda. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day or night and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Oh, you tell me stories You tuck me in And the second you leave I call you right back To check for monsters in my sheets